we click on the door and the door we want to animate this door so our character can pass open the door and pass through uh, so we go to physics tab uh, enable physics okay and we want this to be kinematic because we want to animate it okay uh, so uh, now we have a door that uh, has uh, kinematic uh, physics and we can animate it how can we animate it uh, we can go to animation mode and create a new animation uh, like we did before okay in this animation let's uh, rename this to something uh, open door okay and we are going to import uh, the door in our timeline okay and we want to animate the rotation y this so this will open uh, like before this is the origin and um, <coughs> And we can uh, click somewhere here and say we want this door to move from the current position, origin, okay, to 90 degrees. And that's it. Uh, and let's also add uh, some easy decoration. Uh, let me save. And um, now, um, if that was just a simple door, uh, normally uh, what I would do. Um, is to go uh, in this gate and add another collider and let's add this collider uh, let's name this collider to something like uh, entrance okay entrance uh, and i will move this collider somewhere here and uh, maybe scale it up a little bit like this and move it in front of the door and up here and um, in a normal uh, situation, uh, we will, we would create um, a collision event, a collision trigger between our character and this entrance collider, and we will trigger that uh, uh, open door animation, and the door would would open. But we don't want to do this because we want to to learn a little bit about more uh, complicated, uh, more advanced stuff. Okay, but we will let this uh, collider here because it's going to help us. Uh, so what we want to do now, we want to add a state machine. Okay, just click here, you will see state machine. Let's move it here just for organizing things. We can rename the state machine, something like door uh, state machine. Okay, this is a little bit more advanced stuff, but if you get confused, you, you can go back to the recorded uh, stream and you can watch it again, or uh, feel free to ask me now uh, what you want. But it will be really easy and clear in a bit. Uh, so we just double uh, click this uh, door state machine and you will see this window. Uh, don't uh, worry, uh, everything will make sense in a little bit. So what is this state machine? This state machine is a tool that we create uh, custom states. Okay, we don't create animations. We create custom states. So one state, for example, um, first of all, this blue icon means that this is the initial state. And when we start the game, uh, the game is in this state. Okay, uh, uh, so this state, what this state could be this state is for example let's rename it uh, names doesn't matter uh, let's uh, name it locked so this first step is uh, the door is locked okay not it don't get confused this is not animations this is the logic the states uh, so this door is locked when we start the game this uh, door is locked so this is the initial state is locked uh, let's add another state another state could be the door is unlocked okay and let's make for example this uh, give it a nice color and this make blue okay and just uh, we can just add another state and another state is that the door is now open that okay so this is three states uh, we will see this a little bit later so we will move this uh, there for now and how we can let's make this green how we can uh, build a logic with this state machine. So first of all, we need to connect this each other. So we go here in the connector and we click here and drag to the next state. So from locked to unlocked and we click here to unlock and we go to the open state. So from unlocked to open. Okay, uh, so now we have just uh, uh, 
connect these together. Uh, there, there is no any functionality, no any logic yet. Uh, we just connect it. So uh, now we have to understand uh, how we want to, to make the game and push uh, uh, and jump from the locked state to a locked state, which means uh, which are the rules that we want to make this door be unlocked. And one very easy rule that we can uh, add here is by clicking on this connector. And you see this is the familiar uh, timeline trigger thing you had in uh, animation. And we click in the Thunder and we see all the available triggers that we had inside the animations. Okay, it's exactly the same, um, the same triggers. Um, so for this to build this logic, we need a comparison uh, event. So uh, I will tell you what a comparison event is right now. So we just we are going to click on a result is true continue, and we are going to click on more or equal. Okay, more or equal. And what this comparison does is to compare two values. So if these two values are uh, true, the comparison of these two values are true, the game will jump from uh, from locked state to unlocked state. Okay, only we are, uh, don't get confused, we are only talk about the states. Uh, so let's add our first value here. What we want to compare, let's uh, the, uh, type dollar sign again. And we go to our main character and we go to the variables and we locate the total crystals. Okay, and click enter. So now we want to compare the number of the total crystals that the character has. And let's type here two. So if the character uh, continuously have more two or more crystals, then the, the game will jump from the locked state to unlocked state. Okay, this is just the states. And in a few, we will connect this to, to animations. And now the door, uh, now let's say that the, our game is in the unlocked, unlocked state. So how we can jump to open state, so to open the door, all right? Uh, we click here again, and we create this time a collision event, collision started. And the first object that we want to add here is the main character. And the second one is this uh, green collider that we have named it entrance. So uh, let me do this real quick and I will explain you the logic. So because uh, this collider is somewhere here and it's very difficult to find. So let's type here entrance. Okay, entrance. And Manu is filtering the results and we find the entrance collider. That's that's why it is important to give names that you can remember. Uh, and this is it. The statement is, is finished. Okay. And let me explain you a little bit the logic now. So when the character approaches the door, cannot pass because the game is in uh, locked state. Okay. So, uh, but if the character has two crystals or more, we are in the unlocked state. And if the character has these crystals and we are in the unlocked state and starts colliding with this, then the door will open. But right now, this is only the logic. We didn't link this logic to the animation yet. Uh, so how to link this? Let's go to open door animation that we have created before. Uh, this is the animation. If you... Um, don't remember which is one. And we go to triggers in this animation and we add a new trigger. And now we want an event that has to do with state machine. Okay. Here is where the state machines are used. So let's add this state machine. And the game ask, uh, asks us uh, which state machine you are referring to. Uh, the game doesn't know. Uh, so we find this. Uh, door state machine that we have just created. And now the game asks uh, um, which state you want to open the door. Which state should be um, started to play this animation? Okay, uh, this is the open. Okay, so when the game jumps from unlocked state, uh, let me show it to you. Uh, 
when the, the, the game jumps from the unlocked state to open state, then this animation, uh, that animation will start, okay? And will open the door. Uh, so like that, oh, no, don't want to play yet. So like that, we can build a little bit more advanced uh, logic. So just to, to test things a little bit up, uh, let me grab our character. Uh, uh, or maybe let's grab these crystals. And it would be a good... Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's move these crystals around here. Uh, or we could... Uh, uh, duplicate them, doesn't matter, just for testing purposes now I will just move them, okay, uh, let's move these crystals here, uh, let's duplicate this, uh, it's easier like this, so we have two crystals, okay, and we are going to move our character from here uh, to here, um, let's put here, just to to test this logic, okay, let's save this, and let's play. Uh, so now our character doesn't have any crystals, so if we try to go through the door, the door is not, doesn't open, because the state machine is on a uh, locked state. So to unlock uh, the door, we need two crystals to move, to jump from the unlocked, to jump from the locked to unlocked. So let's collect one, the door still can't open. Let's collect two, and now we are in the unlocked state now. So if I move to the to that uh, invisible trigger, the door should open, and the door opens. Uh, 